Hey there, Benji here from Freedom Formula and in this video I'm going to teach you the overview of the FBA, Amazon FBA process, the whole technical side of things so that you can have that clear in your head and spend that mental energy on developing and sourcing and marketing your product. So this is a lecture taken from our full Amazon Masterclass that is over 11 hours of content. You can find that on our website, link is below. But without further ado, let's jump in so I can teach you and you can get clarity around the entire technical Amazon process. All right, this is more of a technical lecture, but it's very exciting because this is the stuff that I spent hours trying to work out when I first launched my product. I even paid someone $500 for an hour of their time in order for them to explain these exact things to me because I just didn't understand the workflow, where the barcodes came from, how you got your stuff from China to the warehouse, what all the shipping labels are doing. Just the entire process was very foreign to me and I never had done anything like that before. So I wanted to create this lecture to show you, to show you specifically what that whole workflow is and to show you visually so you can remember it and make sure that you're not wasting time or money trying to figure out what the whole process is like I did. So this graphic right here that I've whipped up in front of me is the graphic that I wish I had a couple of years ago when starting out. So let's dive in just so you know ahead of time. I know you don't have your product created yet or your listing created yet, but this is just great knowledge to have in the back of your head and then come back and refer to when you're ready to print your labels and send them to your supplier and get them shipped to you and shipped into Amazon. So here we go. We start with a UPC code. Now, to get a UPC code, I like to go to a place called speedybarcodes.com. Speedybarcodes.com. This is where I get all my UPC codes from. And now a UPC code is not a barcode until you submit it into Amazon associated to your product. Then Amazon will then generate a barcode for you that you can affix or get your supplier to affix onto your product. So this is step one right here is to get a UPC code. Now you can see I'm already logged in, but if you weren't, you come back to the home page. You may need to buy one barcode if you only want to label one product for now. Or if you think you will have five or 10 products pretty soon, I'd get five or 10 or 25 barcodes just to be sure. They're really cheap, dollar, dollar fifty each. So go ahead and go through the purchase and buy one of those packages. I'm gonna come over to my account. So when you finish that purchase, you'll come back to your account and you'll see your order history. And you can see a little download order button for my latest order where I bought 25 barcodes. So that's gonna download as a zip file. And when that does, I've actually downloaded that already. It's gonna come up as a list of barcodes. So you can see UPC 12 barcodes list. I'm gonna blur this out so nobody uh, uses these UPC codes before I do. But I can just take one of these and that is now our UPC code. So if I come back to here, we now have our UPC code. The next step would be to submit that to Amazon in order for Amazon to associate it with the splatter screen, our new product, and generate us a barcode that we can send on to our supplier. So I'm going to come into this tab right here, pull up a new window, go to the Seller Central homepage. So this is the back end where you'll manage all your products and all your sales, all your tax information and everything. It's called Seller Central. We're gonna be working within the Manage Inventory tab over here where you can see that Evan has already put up this splatter screen listing, uh, which is necessary in order to turn our UPC code into a barcode. So we'd come over and we'd click edit. It's gonna open a new tab. We'll go to vital information or vital info as it's listed. And you can see down here in product ID, this is where you'd paste your UPC code. Now I'm not gonna paste mine in now because you can see Evan has already put one of his speedy barcode UPCs in here and clicked on the UPC drop down over here. Really important, you click on the UPC drop down, you click save and finish. I haven't made any changes, so I'm just gonna close that. And what happens then when you come over back into the manage inventory, you can go on the drop down next to edit and you will see right here, print item labels. Now, if you have not changed your listing to fulfilled by Amazon yet, 
you can, there'll be a button looking like this, but instead of change to fulfilled by merchant, it will say change to fulfilled by Amazon. You need to click that first in order to register with fulfillment by Amazon. And then the print item labels tab will come up. So click in the print item labels. You can choose your size. I'll go for a nice big one. Click print item labels. Okay. You can see it's downloaded here as a PDF. Open that up and there is your barcode for your product. So this is our barcode for our skillet. I'm just gonna copy that into here. Now we could send this to our suppliers and have them print that onto the product or sticker that on for us. Really important that you get them to sticker that on for you on their side of the ocean over in China or wherever you're sourcing your product from because both Ev and I have spent countless hours in a garage on hard concrete floors or in our studio labeling products by hand and it takes a lot longer than you think and it's so cheap to get done over there i highly recommend that you don't make that same mistake that we made so you can just send that pdf through to your supplier remember to keep the text attached so that goes on to the individual products now the workflow to get these individual products to Amazon is going to vary from individual, but I'm going to give you the main gist of it. And that is to put all of these products, say you have 100 products per box, into a big box. So 100 of these individually barcoded products will need to go into this box. And then what happens to this box, I'm going to keep that away so we don't get confused. Hello, present day Benji, checking in real quick here because... We have a lot of people inside our masterclass who ask a question about this part of the process, which I think I didn't describe too clearly in this lecture. And that is that barcode um, that we're putting on the individual product will need to go on every individual product that we're gonna put into that box. So every single individual product will have that barcode that we just made. And every single individual product that's been barcoded will go into that big box that we're gonna ship into Amazon. And I'm gonna show you how to print the shipping label to put onto that big box to ship it into the Amazon warehouse right now. So pass it back over to Pass Benji who will teach you how to do that. Is we need to put a shipping label on here. So if your supplier is gonna send them to you first or to an inspection agency for, to look over your products, they can just put whatever address you have or the inspection agency has. But if they're gonna ship them straight to Amazon, or once you inspect them and you need to ship these straight to Amazon, you need another barcode or another shipping label to put onto this big box. So let's go and get that now. We're gonna come back to our Seller Central page and go Manage Inventory. You can see there's zero available, so we need to send uh, stock in. So we'll click the drop down, come down to Send and Replenish Inventory. that's going to load up and this is where we send in new products and they will give us the uh, label to affix to that big box full of items in order to get that into the right Amazon warehouse. So case pack products are products that are packed um, in a big box and there's a lot of the same products like a hundred of them being in a big box. So that's us. We're going to continue that. Now they want to know how big the box is. So I'm making this up at the moment. So I'm going to say it's 10 by 10 by 10 inches. Units per K, so I'll save that first. All right, what was my standard range? I'm not sure. Units per case is going to be 100, number of cases. So units per case is going to be 100 in each box, and we're going to say that there's two boxes. So it's going to be 200 total. We're going to go continue. Continue. So they're saying they need to be labeled. We can label them. Review the shipments. So it's creating the shipments right now. So they have designated 100 of these units to go to Oklahoma. Oak. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not from the United States, but it's in California. And then 100 of them to go to Texas. So these are two different Amazon warehouses and they split up. You can see the product that you're sending in, in order to, to fulfill that two-day shipping, they like to have lots of different inventory 
like scattered throughout the country. So no matter where someone buys it from, they can get it to them in just two days. And obviously they do all that hard work for you by uh, splitting up your stock. You just have to approve the shipment. Now, the great thing about Amazon too is they subsidize all the shipping that goes to them. So they've broken it down into each individual shipment. You can just click on work on shipment. So UPS is the best way to do it because that's the subsidized one. Uh, everything is in one box. Wait for that to load. How heavy is the box? We're going to say it's 10 pounds. Once again, it's 10 by 10 by 10. 10, definitely not 101, that's a big box. All right, cool. Calculate how much that costs. Now, normally that would cost quite a bit, 10 pounds, 10 by 10 by 10, but you can see it's only $9. So I'm gonna agree, accept those charges. And then print box labels. So here we finally have our box labels. You can see they look like this. I'm gonna blur out those that address, but this is essentially the barcode that you wanna stick on the front of your box. I can copy that, throw that in here, and this will go on the front of your box. Obviously, not just this little bit, but that whole A4 paper, Let's put it on the side of your box, and then that will be shipped to, where is it, Golden State, Patterson CA, okay. Well, that's where it's going, that's the warehouse. And that's box one of one, 10 pound box that you can see it says up here. Then you'd go back and you do your other shipment. I'm just gonna avoid those charges because I'm not actually shipping anything in. Uh, and then you'd go back and you do your other shipments of so your shipments. You could do this one here and send that over to Texas too. So that is the workflow for the barcodes and the shipping labels. I hope that makes sense to you because that really did take a lot of time for me to figure out how that works. Basically, UPC code, Amazon turns it into a barcode, put the barcode on the individual products. Uh, once that's listed on Amazon, once the item's up there, get your supplier to do it, then put all them into a big box, create a shipping plan and a shipping label, attach that to the big box with all the items in it and send that to Amazon. Amazon will get that in within a week and you'll be in stock the, I'll show you what changes. When you go to manage inventory, you can see that there's zero available. As soon as Amazon receives those items, this will go up to say 200, if I send 200 in, and they're all, they will be live on Amazon and people will start buying them. So I hope that makes a lot of sense. That's how you organize the barcodes and how you get your items shipped to Amazon. If you're not at this stage yet, that's fine, I just wanted you to have that knowledge in the back of your mind ahead of time so you don't have those questions keep popping up and any confusion. Thanks so much, let's work on finding a supplier for our product now with Evan. So that is the entire technical side of the Amazon process. If you still have questions, please ask them below because I'm trying to make this as clear as possible and I need to know what you're confused at so I can answer that specifically. If you wanna see the next lectures and more of it, check out our Amazon FBA Masterclass over at fbafreedomformula.com and sign up there to join the thousands of students that we currently have inside that course. Also, the last thing you need to do is subscribe. We have daily videos coming out to help you on your Amazon journey. So make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.